Welcome to Stonk Insights, stock, crypto, analysis, discovery, let's go. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about an update with SenseCap. As, as we look here, we're on an official SenseCap Discord page here, and they have a big surprise. They have released their SenseCap M1 or M2 app. And the reason being, as we see here at the top with this message here, the Helium app will no longer support managing manufacturers hotspots in the near future. So sometime in March and April. So it was critical for them to release this app. So we still have access and ability to make updates to our Helium hotspots. They continue on. Now since Cap Hotspot app combines the functions and features of the Helium Hotspot app and since Cap dashboard to help you manage your hotspot and rewards. So I've already downloaded this app, played around with it. Unfortunately, I'm not able to screen share what I'm seeing on my side of the things in the app because they have a security protocol in place to stop screen sharing for either the Helium app or this new SenseCap app, which is okay. You know, this is for security reason. But with that said, we're just gonna be going through the docs so I can show you exactly what you have to do to set up this SenseCap hotspot app. So if you're interested in that, stick along for this whole video. Like this video if you like this video. I can't tell you anything about that YouTube algorithm, but if you like this video, you will be helping out the channel. You'll be helping out your boy, and I do appreciate it. So let's get right into the video. Now, before we continue on and look at the docs here, we're gonna show that you know they have an app for iOS users, and they have an app for the Android users. So I'll be leaving these links in the description down below so you can go directly to these apps. One big thing I'm gonna mention, I'm probably gonna mention it again, you know, there's a lot of scammers out there. There's a possibility that you may see one of these apps pop up and it may not be the correct app, but that's why I highlighted this point here. Note, your wallet is safe. You do not need to put in your 12 words seed phrase to use a SenseCap hotspot app. So if you download an app and they're asking for your 12 word seed phrase, chances are you downloaded the incorrect app and you need to verify that you have the right one. So again, I'll be leaving these two links in the description and the comments down below to make sure that you're downloading the correct app. So we're gonna kick off things here with the docs. SenseCap Hotspot is the official app for SenseCap MX Hotspots, which you could use to register and manage your SenseCap MX Hotspots. So with this app, it's gonna be a one-stop shop where you'll be able to look up everything from the Helium app and the SenseCap dashboard, all put in together in one app. As we take a look at these screenshots here, so this is just an inside look of what's to come when you look inside the app but we're gonna be actually going through some of these screens individually. Let's just continue on with the steps. So first you do have to download the Helium app and then you gotta set it up. I have two videos on my channel showing you step-by-step -step what you have to do to set up these Helium apps. You know, my first video was a few months ago and I just made a video a few weeks ago. So I'll leave a link somewhere around here to those videos so you can understand after you download the Helium app, you know, what do you gotta do? Step two, you have to download the SenseCap Hotspot app. And again, they have a version for iOS and Android users. And I'll be leaving the links for both of those in the description down below. All right, so how to log in. So this is how you log into your SenseCap Hotspot app. SenseCap Hotspot app has the same account number as a SenseCap dashboard. You can log in to SenseCap app with SenseCap dashboard account or register a free account on app to log in. So this is very critical. If you already have a SenseCap dashboard, you can use that same information to log into your SenseCap app now. One thing to keep in mind, if you're using the previous information from your SenseCap dashboard, the email is case sensitive. I know I've mentioned this before, but it can't be stressed enough just because of the headaches that I had to go through with this. If you're like in this example here, they have app store dot blah, 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 blah. If the A was capitalized when you originally registered this account, then you have to use that same capitalized A whenever you're entering in your email. If it's lowercase like it's shown here, then you have to keep it lowercase whenever you're entering your email. Sometimes when you go to enter in the email, you know that your app will automatically try to 
capitalize the first letter. That's what happened to me. So my first letter was capitalized, even though it actually isn't, you know, when I set up the email, but that's just something to keep in mind. The email address is case sensitive and the password obviously is case sensitive. So next for the wallet management to add the Helium wallet, SenseCap Hotspot app offers two ways to add a user's wallet without requiring the user to enter the wallet's 12 C phrase words. So that's again, very, very important. There's nowhere they're asking for your seed phrase in this app okay and again if you decide that you're just going to be a cowboy you're going to go to one of these app stores and try to download the app just keep in mind these crypto scammers are very very savvy they will probably be trying to do something you know with this i can i can already see it and if any app is asking for your seed phrase delete it immediately if you have downloaded the Helium Hotspot app, you can tap the deep link Helium wallet button to add your SenseCap wallet to SenseCap app. In this scenario, you can view Hotspot's information in your wallet and add a new Hotspot to the Helium blockchain. The second way, if you do not have the Helium Hotspot app, you can add the Helium wallet by entering your wallet address. But in this scenario, you can only view the wallet information. So this here shows the two ways that you can link your SenseCat wallet. So the first way, again, is through the deep link Helium wallet. So this is the way that I went. You basically just click on that button and it does its own thing and it links you up. You're entering your password for your Helium wallet here and then it'll connect everything and sync everything up. The second way here, you would have to obtain your Helium hotspot wallet address, put it in here, click confirm, and then you'll have view information only access to your SenseCap. So once you add a Helium wallet to the SenseCap, you will view the hotspots, activities, notifications, which is coming soon. So this is the big thing. Hopefully they add push notifications such as whenever your sense cap goes down that you know right away because you're going to get a push notification or the 24 hour cycle hopefully they add it to where it's updating you with how much helium you made in the last 24 hours those type of things are coming soon hopefully we will go over you know some things that haven't been added that they will be coming soon but hopefully add meaningful push notifications that's useful for all sense cap users and this is just an inside look at what you're looking at here on the left. This is just showing the hotspots or a list of them. So in this individual's case, they have five different hotspots here on the right is just showing the activity, the mining activity, similar to what you would see within your helium app. So you also have the added functionality to add the hotspot to helium. Again, this is going to be a full service app. So on the wallet page, you got to tap the plus button to add a hotspot to helium blockchain. That is the same as a helium hotspot app. So we click this again, you see this little plus button up here. This is how you're going to be adding additional helium hotspots to your sense cap app. And if you look here, you know, once you click that button, it's going to ask you what type of sense cap that you're going to be adding. So you have the choice for sense cap M1, the sense cap M2 or the sense cap M2 data only. And then once you add the hotspot, it's going to ask you to confirm it again and you can confirm. So for more of on the hotspot information, the sense cap hotspot app manages hotspots that are both in the sense cap dashboard and in your wallet. If your wallet hotspot has been added to the SenseCap dashboard account. SenseCap app gives you all information about the hotspot, such as rewards, online status, P2P status, witnesses, location, and so on. Pretty much all the information you can obtain from the SenseCap dashboard and the Helium app is all being brought together within the SenseCap app now. And just taking a look at this, this is just showing you some of the information that you can see here. So on the left side here, this is just showing all the sense caps that this individual has or helium hotspots and just showing certain information regarding the name of it, what they made in the last 24 hours, so on and so forth. On the right here, this information is more or less what you see within the SenseCap dashboard, showing you the online status, the sync status, the block height, the CPU usage, the memory usage, so on and so forth. Okay, and very, very important part, hotspot operations. SenseCap app combines the Helium hotspot app 
and SenseCap dashboard and provides the following operations to help you manage your hotspot and rewards. You can update location similar to what you could do in the Helium app. So you can update the hotspot location to the Helium bot blockchain. You can pair via Bluetooth and run diagnostics. You can set tags like in the SenseCap dashboard. You can copy the address of the hotspot addresses of or the owner's address. And then these four functions down here are coming soon. So you'll be able to transfer the hotspot coming soon. Discovery mode, which has been down for some time. So this is awesome that this is looking like it's gonna be coming back online. You'll be able to also update your antenna or add to the dashboard. All four of these functions are coming at a later time and date. Okay, so now the app settings. So in settings, SenseCap app allows you to enable pin get the support document, switch Helium wallets or exit the Helium wallet. I just wanna make a note here. At the top, this is showing just the enable pin, but in the actual app, cause I just verified it again, there's also an enable pin for outgoing Helium. So if you're sending Helium to another wallet or whatnot, you also have the ability to enable pin as an extra layer of security, just so you know when you're trying to send out something that is verified by you. So very important, it's not here. This just shows the enable pin, which just allows you to get inside of the app, but they do also have an enable pin if you wanna send Helium. So that's the video for you guys. So what do you guys think? Are you bullish? Are you happy that SenseCap is now coming out with this app? I think with the news that the Helium app is no longer gonna be allowing manufacturers to onboard on Twitter app is a big deal. And I appreciate SenseCap stepping up and quickly pushing out this app. But what are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments down below. I always want to leave the video out, out on this here. I do have a playlist here for all my SenseCap mining journey. We start from when I first unboxed my SenseCaps to my last video where I did an update on a dashboard and how to use like the TurboSync reset blocks and the other functionalities. This video I'm making right now is also going to be added to this playlist. So you can have everything as far as SenseCap goes is going to be in this playlist for you guys' enjoyment. Thank you guys again, and I'll catch you in the next one.